What is going on everybody? This is Russell Nader here. I'm going to do another video for a while. Guys, I know I haven't done one in a long time. We're going to play some Mass Effect Andromeda. Just to show you guys some gameplay of it. Uh, the game's fun. People don't like it because of all the bugs. But as I did the new patch update, it really made the game a lot better. The only problem is with this game, and you're going to see where most of my time is, is going to be sitting right here in this loading screen. Loading screens in this game take forever. It's because of all the crap that's going down and everything else. And it has to load the game. You're going to notice we've been at it now for about almost a minute already. I'll tell you guys when it's a minute, and it's ridiculous. Do, 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 do. It's been a minute, and it's still loading. Let's see how long this takes to download. <laughs> A minute and 26 seconds it took. And this is the game, guys. The graphics of this game is great. I forgot what I have to do, so I'm going to have to look around. I forget where I'm at. I know there's a couple missions you got to do. Each one, later on, each level gets better when you turn on these poles that makes the world ten times better. It's called Vault. And this game really doesn't really have anything to do with the other Mass Effects. They talk about the other Mass Effects, but... It's a whole new world, it's a whole new environment, it's the Andromeda Galaxy, which has nothing to do with the Milky Way, or anything like that. And you'll see new races of people, like, there's only one, like, well, in this game right now, there's only been, like, two new races. And the temperature one is when you gotta fight, it's called the Keth. And you got these weird, I can't remember the names of these people right now. But they play. They live in a place called Aya, A Y A, Aya or something. And you play as your, as your Pathfinder. What's your last name is Ryder, which I don't. That's the only thing I don't care about the Mass Effect games is that's you cannot change their last name. Map. But you could change the first name of them, and. stuff like that but uh, see here's the problem this game is great temperatures are within people just didn't like it because there's too many bugs too many stuff but yeah the skin that I actually have on my nomad is actually the uh, the downloadable one that you pay when you pay the I think it's like 7999 you got a whole bunch of stuff right here is one of the skins for the nomad it's gold and the armor that I was wearing is actually one that downloads too. It's an ultra rare skin and you get some guns and you get a new pet called a Payjack. It's like P R Y J A C K a Pryjack. It's like a little monkey that is like in your in your tempest, which is basically the a newer version of the Nomad. I not the Nomad, the uh Oh my goodness. The Normandy. And it's like I said, it's it's different. I mean I, I like the map searching like this. It I have the big open world. I mean some of the maps I go to later on are like they're real small. There's a lot to do there. And the graphics of the game is just like and I should be able to jump off this. What? Ah, okay, that was stupid. That was really stupid. Uh, see if I can jump off this now. Should be able to. This game sometimes got its own little problems. There's actually a an achievement or trophy if you're on PS4. I mean, an achievement if you're on Xbox One. Where you have to stay in the air for like 30 seconds. In the air. 
with the Nomad. When you see what happened there, it, it resets you. And... It's okay. But... Yeah, there's little caches that you have to find everywhere that they hid and... And you get like armor from it and resources and mods for your weapons and stuff. stuff guys but like I'm gonna be uh, going on and off about talking because this video is kind of long and I don't want to sit here and keep talking out everything but yeah I'm hopefully gonna be doing some new videos pretty soon again I just haven't gotten into the whole mood and groove so I'm thinking about doing some Assassin's Creed syndicate soon and that's basically doing all the other videos well now you guys are gonna see how I combat the stuff this is a light machine gun, kind of. It's, it's a pistol, they say, but that doesn't feel like a pistol. But yeah, you'll see how I play. Alright, got me two trophies. One's called Perk Up, will be in level 40. And the other one is called Perk Condition. Yeah, if you speed through stuff a little bit, they won't talk. It's funny. It's like, do it. There is an audio log saved on this device, Pathfinder. Cat, let's get a translation, Sam. Processing. But like I said, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you watch some, then I'll come back and. Scanned and recorded. Pathfinder, these samples all contain the same genetic sequence. At first, it appears to be a familial connection, but the genome shows signs of modification. Evidence suggests the sequence was drawn from a single individual and incorporated into other cat. The Archon. Exaltation. So does the Archon control the cat because they see him as a progenitor? Or does his rank give him the privilege to propagate his genes like this? A cultural question beyond my personal. 
In any case, the stuff we found should be of great interest to the science team back on the Nexus. to the Kent Command Center. This is what a Ketcom outpost looks like. Archons, not the Ket Supreme. See, guys, some of the missions in this are kind of stupid. I mean, they're easy, stupid missions, but it's what makes the game the game, you know? It has its own. Even though this one's like. Wait, is the Archon going off book? Communications. Only Archon is aware of shifting situation in Helios. If Archon's opinion is that protocols are not to our benefit, accept his wisdom. He is the Senate's voice in Helios and must be obeyed. Someone's repeating the party line. It sounds like the Ket are starting to question what the Archon's doing. If this continues, it might be good for all of us. So what's next? There is likely nothing to be done. But conflicts between factions seldom resolve quietly. Then we'll just have to keep an ear to the ground for now. With luck, something will happen. And now the waiting game. That's what you gotta do in this one. A lot, it's a lot of waiting. A lot of waiting.
sensors. is falling, Pathfinder. this. This is gorgeous. Outside temperature is in free fall. There is a resistance emergency cache nearby, Pathfinder. Medical cache up ahead, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. I wonder if we'll ever see a so-called golden world that won't be complete death to live on. Approaching the Glory Seeker nav point, the cat station is close. I can't do this. Taking this station is impossible. Are you Tej? Whoa! Didn't see you there. Wait. Colt, I wasn't expecting all this security and the longer I sit here, the more I doubt everything. I thought the whole point was you were supposed to die doing this. People always misunderstand. We don't waste our lives. I could die here. See, the more I think, the, the worse the thoughts get. I've got some experience with Cat. I can help with it. Would you? I think... Live or die. is normal. I'm reading a temperature decrease. Still alive. And I've never met anyone who had a blessed rebirth. God, if my friends heard this talk, they'd turn their backs. Vince especially. 
Oh, I'm almost afraid to go back. I can't tell you what to do, but maybe Rashwar Lin can help? I always liked Rashwar. And you're right, she'll know how to handle my friends. Whether it means we talk to them, or... I stop listening to them. <sighs> we grew up together. Sometimes you grow apart. Yes. Maybe. Thanks, Path. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Well guys, I hope you all enjoyed a little bit of the gameplay. I'm going to probably cut the film out now in a couple minutes. Uh, I just want to tell everybody thanks for watching. I know it's been a while since I've done videos. I'm going to try to get back into it, but every time I say I get back into it, I never do because something always comes up. I was going to do some more videos, but I just haven't had time. All my friends have been hitting me up to play games with them. And every time I show online... Everybody bugs me all the time. So it's kind of hard to do three things at once. So I hate saying this, but sometimes I have to show offline just so I can do some videos. Or I can play a game by myself. So I wouldn't have to worry about anybody bothering me. I know it sounds horrible, but sometimes you gotta do things you don't like to do. Well, guys, hope you all enjoyed. A little bit of Mass Effect Dromeda. If I would say this game right here is about a $40 game, not 60 so if you guys are going to get it, it's Commander Rider out, <laughs> or Pathfinder Rider out. And you all have a good one, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.